welcome back to our new GIS tutorial so in this video we will learn GIS for urban planning so urban planning is the heart of building sustainable and livable cities with GIS planners have the power to analyze data make informed decisions and transform communities so in this video we will explore how GIS plays a crucial role in urban planning through a practical case study so what is GIS and urban planning so geographic information system or GIS is a vital tool for urban planners from analyzing population density to understanding infrastructure networks and land use GIS helps optimize space and resources in cities so today we will demonstrate how to use GIS to identify the best location for a new park in Islamabad sector E11 so focusing on population infrastructure and existing land use data so what kind of data required for this project to get started you need uh, several layers of data the first one is uh, population density to determine areas with high residential density you can download the census data or GIS portals like world pop the second one is the infrastructure so for these uh, roads buildings and public facilities like hospitals and schools so from where you can download this data you can use uh, open street map or local government GIS department so I will share the open street map link and the other sources data link in the description okay now the third one is the land use and land cover to identify open space where the new park to identify the open space which is best for the new park so for this uh, we can use uh, we will use Copernicus land monitoring services and you can use uh, other data source as well first uh, we will move to the Copernicus website as you can see on the screen so this area is my area of interest so I will mark uh, the data as well draw a line click on here here this one so this one is my area of interest I have select the three years of data of the same month of the same date 2022 2023 and 2024 now first we check the situation in 2022 this is the 2022 now we will check the 2023 is there any change occurred or not I think uh, this area is the residential area and this one is the free space have bushes trees etc will not any change uh, occur in this place so now the last one is uh, 2024 we will also check on 2024 as well now the rest are the residential areas so this area is the Greenland okay so if you are working on a city so for these data sets are readily available from local municipal agencies and online GIS repository first we download the population density of the sector E11 of Islamabad so 
I already downloaded so this is the E11 sector boundary this is the blue one and these data points are the population density like homes and other okay so for uh, infrastructure so I already downloaded the roads interconnected roads uh, supermarkets some have polygons and some have the point data you can also show labels on it now here yeah, star mart and uh, also label this one city superstore max mart okay now the next one is uh, schools so there is only one school which one is that uh, open attribute table Main English. double click on it label now change the value name English click OK Alpha the Academy ok once the data is ready so we move to analysis so step 1 analyze the population density so first we need to identify the area with the high population but no nearby parks so I think uh, there is uh, no nearby park in this area as well also in this area as well so there is a small park uh, which is nearest to only these area only these homes which is a small park so we need to identify a place which is uh, near to these areas as well for this one as well and for this one as well so first we need to check where is the population high density so for this we use a heat map so for heat map you use a plugin so I already downloaded go to manage and install plugin and search for density analysis click on it so I can reinstall plugin for you guys ok close now here you can find the different options style geo hash density map style h3 density map style density map density map analysis tool style heat map so we can use this one click on 100 meters continues leave as it is click on run now the heat map is created now for zero we need to remove the zero value change opacity zero ok ok now here you can see zero to one ok we need to delete it zero value and then minus ok ok now here you can see the high value the high value have a 27.017 so there is a high population density here as well so here as well ok high value mean high density and low value mean low density now step 2 is the infrastructure proximity so first we check there is any major road which access from this area this one area this area so where is the road first close the heat map yes 
there is a major road as well to this area now check the nearby facility here is mosque there is a restaurant hotels and other things okay now we need to find the empty or green space which are under utilized areas which is suitable for park so in my case uh, the nearby space is this one so i already create a shape file for the park there is only one hospital you can also find the empty or uh, underutilized space identify for the hospital you can also identify the place for the school as well okay so for our case study let's focus on the e11 sector of islamabad so this area shows a high residential density as you can see in the heat map as well so but lack of green spaces so using gis we found a vacant plot of government land ideal for a park this one is the ideal for the park now this is the final map shows the perfect site based on the population needs accessibility and land use compatibility so this approach can be replicated for any city planning project so now once uh, your analysis is complete so gis tools like qgis let you create a professional map map we already discussed how to create a map so i already pin a video as you can see at the top right side so click on view create uh, i already installed the plugin for this layout loader this one click on it simple a4 landscape click ok now images loaded okay here uh, this name is showing so we need to remove this uh, this one is the school name now close again create landscape click ok rendering map okay if you want to remove the items so uncheck check boxes so there is a logo if you want to remove it idle bar map neat line if you want to add the scale bar so select this one and uh, draw a scale bar here add a north logo add a legend here is the legend this one So now we remove the E11 population density. Remove this one. Remove this one as well. This one as well. E11 school and the administrative boundary. delete delete this one delete this one open street map this one as well okay 11 boundary 11 road park area
और पार्क Now we need to change minimum main value and max value. Now we export the map so if you want to export as image so click on it if you want to export as pdf so click on it so i want to export as image click on it mm, yes leave as it is save 600 dpi for high resolution save now wait for it it will take some time okay so now here you can see the map is created so gis has a revolutionized urban planning helping cities grow smarter and greener if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more gis insights let's plan better cities one map at a time.